Hello, it is I again in my studio. I just have done uh, made some more progress on the piece I'm working on, which it needs another few layers. I need to leave it to dry for a bit, but uh, this is basically just a show announcement of uh, the tunnel. This is the arts group, art collective that I was involved in and still am involved in as the sort of as a co-founder and also I'm a member of the tunnel. We have a show on the 1st and 2nd of September at Safe House 1 and 2 in London. It's the show's based around La Jete by Chris Marker and um, 12 Monkeys. Um, so it should be interesting. La Jete, if you've not seen it, is a um, post-apocalypse film basically. Both of them sort of are mostly a post-apocalyptic films, so it seems sort of quite pertinent in our collective fears and imagination, right? Anyway, I want to just keep this very short. Uh, I'll show the painting I'm working on, discuss a little bit, because I might be, if I get it to finish, I will show it in the show. I've got a few pieces to um, look through and try and figure out what I want to put in the show, but yeah, anyway. Switch angle now. So this is uh, not unfinished, but it's a painting I'm working on. So if you saw my last vlog, which is just the update for the month really, this is um, where that's gone. Um, working title is The 13th Monkey or something, or I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what the title's gonna be. Um, it does need a level layer. It's got some nice movement. I did some splattering here. Uh, the colour's a bit too muddy though in places, I'm going to have to work into that a bit. So you, um, but it's there, it's, 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 it's not there, it's, it's, uh, it's um, yeah. making progress and hopefully get it finished, uh, well, just before the show really. Like I've got to work still and do coding and stuff for money, or well, I'm trying to get a job at the minute really technically, sort of like self-employed, unemployed basically. Anyway, yeah, let's show So, yeah, like, let me just chat quickly. Well, I'll just chat about how, what I think it is so far. There's a skull on the left, which is quite disturbing, the sort of skull thing, skull face, it's quite scary. This bit of what, figure in the middle sort of reminds me a bit of several things at once. Obviously, it's bearded, masculine face, it feels like. Somewhat could be self insert, I suppose, because of the beard, but not really, because it's not a character with glasses, so. And they've got this figure here, which is like a worm sort of coming out of the ground or something, which is quite weird. Um, so I need to leave this to dry for a bit, leave, give, get, have some space from it again. You always used to, you always generally do this when you're painting. Uh, I do anyway, I guess I realised of distance, for, like at every stage of when I'm painting, I need to have, I, need to, I do like the first layer. I mean, I work with acrylic so I can get the layering done quite fast but anybody who's a painter will know that you know you have to leave stuff to dry obviously the acrylic thankfully doesn't take that long but I've obviously used quite impasto paint application uh, the actual I've just got to use system free so they're shooting quality so they're not that bad but not like thick body acrylic I'd like to get some more on that really, but that's a question of money which I don't have at the minute to be honest I don't have anything really I just look like my parents again Hey ho, what can you do? It's not the end of the world. Um, yeah, that's, all, that's enough. Safe you, 1st and 2nd of September, coming to the show. Uh, I'll be there, I'm going to hopefully get a mega bus down because uh, it's cheaper than getting the train because up in the north. So, but yeah, um, that's about all.